On a blistering day in southeast Houston, a small drone takes off and surveys the suburban landscape. From a high altitude, it can see people moving around in their yards. Flip on augmented reality mode, and it overlays a map showing street names and house numbers. Infrared reveals multicolored humans, dogs, some chickens in a backyard, all warm-blooded bodies in a cooler sea of vegetation and buildings. Zoom in on a lawn and you can see each sweating blade of grass, all from 5,000 miles away. I'm controlling this drone from my house just west of London through software deployed in a Chrome browser, using just my patchy home Wi-Fi network. I can drive it using classic keyboard gaming controls, mimicking the experience of a first-person action game. But this is no simulation. Each press of the keyboard and a drone almost halfway around the world reacts in half a second. The drone itself was built by DJI, but the software controlling it is made by Houston-based startup Paladin. Founded in 2018, the company sells a small piece of hardware that acts as the brain for any off-the-shelf drone, giving its police and first responder customers the ability to pilot the drone from anywhere using a standard internet connection. The software also offers automation features like gunshot detection and license plate readers that aim to help cops chase down leads without ever leaving the station. I could send you a link to one of our drones and you could be flying it with about a half a second latency from anywhere in the world," said founder and CEO Divi Srivastava, a 24-year-old who quit college to start Paladin. The startup, along with much larger vendors like Skydio and DJI, is servicing a new craze amongst American cops, drone as first responder, or DFR. Police departments in states like California, Georgia and New Jersey are testing out using drones as the first eyes on a crime scene or emergency, since they can often get there faster than a patrol officer. That's thanks to new rules from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, which now allows police and fire departments, as well as commercial users like construction companies, to fly drones without needing a pilot on the ground who has a line of sight. Larry Bogus an officer and pilot at the Memorial Village's police department in Houston who is using Paladin to fly drones, says he deploys them to protect his colleagues. When a physical altercation occurs while a cop is on the job, the drone's operator can see what's happening and call in backup. If they can't see someone approaching from behind, the drone operator can warn them. And because Paladin's software works from anywhere, Bogus said the operator could be states or even countries away. I could be on a beach and launch it, he told Forbes. But while police officers expressed excitement about DFR programs like this, civil liberties organizations are concerned about the impact on privacy if there's an explosion of drone use by police.